On Wednesday in Pasadena, Sofia Vergara was seen departing the America's Got Talent set after leaving the stage earlier due to another jab from co-host Howie Mandel. The 51-year-old actress put on a breezy brown summer maxi dress, sandals and a large tote bag from Christian Dior. Sofia wore a pair of gold earrings and had brunette hair that was parted in the center and delicately curled. The native of Colombia put black lipstick on her pout and smoky eyeshadow on her lids. After Mandel, 67, made light of her recent breakup from Joe Mangani Elo, 46, for the second time, Sophia appeared to have had enough of Mandel's jabs at her single status and left the stage. The insult was made on the same day that her ex-boyfriend Joe was rumored to be dating actress Caitlin O'Connor, who is 13 years younger than him at 33. In spite of his divorce from Vergara, Mangani Elo appeared to be moving on when he was seen leaving the gym on Wednesday with Caitlin, according to Page Six. In Venice, California, the two were observed leaving Gold's gym and getting into Joe's car before leaving. According to IMDb, Caitlin is a Los Angeles native who works as an entertainment reporter and has appeared on a number of TV series including Days of Our Lives and Two and a Half Men. When Mandel asked another difficult question about Vergara's single status during the awkward exchange on AGT, Vergara declined to participate in the lie detector skit. After seven years of marriage, the judge revealed in July that she and her husband Joe were divorcing and Howie has been making fun of her ever since. During the results episode, show presenter Terry Crews, 55, unveiled a sonic dot seat that he claimed was made entirely of tater tots. Simon Cowell, 63, pointed to Sophia when he was asked whether anyone would volunteer to participate on the panel as a judge. Sophia approached the stage, took a seat, and was later connected to a lie detector. What could they ask me to warrant the need for a lie detector, stated Sophia. When Howie, Simon Cowell, and Heidi Klum asked Sophia some ridiculous questions, Sophia displayed her comedic side. After recently divorcing her husband Joe, Howie then inquired of Sophia if she noticed someone in the audience that she was interested in. Sophia pulled off the lie detector armband and refused to answer any more questions as men in the audience sought to get her attention. That is all, Sophia murmured as she rose from the chair, that's it. Terry remarked, okay, I think she's finished. Howie has been making fun of Sophia's new relationship status ever since she revealed her breakup in July. In a later interview with Daily Mail, Com, the comedian said that the brunette bombshell is always the first one to laugh and has got a good sense of humor about it. Howie continued, I would not do anything if I felt in any way that I would be insulting her even in the least. For the joke he made last month on the first live performance episode of America's Got Talent, Howie received criticism. The breakup was not specifically addressed in the episode, although Howie made a joke while talking about a performance by 12-year-old ventriloquist and magician Bryn Cummings in which she attempted to find a new partner for her rabbit puppet. Howie said, alluding to Sophia's recent breakup, if I have one word of advice, if you're looking for eligible bachelors, you should have talked to Sophia because she's in the market right now. After a lengthy pause during which Sophia pretended to shake it off, she raised her arms and said yes while laughing before host Terry remarked, no, we're not doing that here. After seven years of marriage, Joe and Sophia, who got hitched in 2015, announced their split in July. The True Blood star filed for divorce just two days after they announced their breakup, stating that they had separated on July 2 and that their marriage had ended due to irreconcilable differences. She has a son, age 31, from her first marriage. The ex-couple did not have children together. According to their prenuptial agreement, they are currently in the process of dividing their assets and property.